recording of uh, uh, the violent sleep of reason um, was different in uh, most ways uh, compared to, to how we've been recording uh, pretty much every album since the mid 90s I would, I would say so those process the, the process of recording and mixing have been very kind of long processes where we're kind of trying to do everything ourselves and and, uh, and for some of us in the band that's been really 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 hard on us when by the time you're finished with an album you're like you just want to go into hiding for two years because you're just basically worn out so uh, that was one of the reasons that we wanted to do things differently uh, this time around but but uh, also kind of looking back on on the albums and the, the music and the songs that that we grew up with and that we really loved in metal uh, were always kind of recorded live and that have they had that live vibe to it and uh, there's a certain energy that that comes with with recording live compared to recording drums first and fixing whatever needs to be fixed so it sounds perfect and then and then recording guitars on top of that and and uh, there's nothing wrong in doing it like that but uh, for we just felt like we wanted to kind of take a step back towards how we were doing things in the early 90s and kind of go a little old school in that sense and uh, and we kind of wanted the challenge of that comes with that as well we uh, rehearsed for at least like two months we all agree in the band that we probably would have needed an additional at least a couple of months um, for the recording process to to go as smoothly as possible but this is the time that we had um, from writing all the demos to like when we decided like we just put a time schedule for when we needed to record and uh, we booked the studio for that and we booked the engineer and uh, the, the choice came to go to the, the Puk studio in Denmark um, which kind of had its heyday in the, in the 80s and 90s with, with bands like Judas Priest and, and Depeche Mode and, and it was kind of a, a, a big deal studio um, back then uh, today it's not being used very much, so we, we also we, we were able to, to get a fairly good deal on that. And uh, uh, the mixing engineer for this album is Tue Madsen, uh, a Danish guy who also recorded bands like uh, like The Haunted and uh, a few of the, the Haunted releases was kind of what made us kind of want this guy. Uh, he did a tremendous job with them. and. Uh, and he was available for the time period and uh, he suggested we go to Puk Studio. Uh, he also has a studio at his house, but the way, we, since we're from Sweden and we had to kind of travel there, we wanted some place where we could also live and uh, do everything at one spot. Um, and he was familiar with the Puk Studio from before, so um, it felt like the, the right place to do it with the right uh, person. Hey. 